mark 15 cm in parallel to a cell wedge, lengthwise grain line and 45 cm in crosswise grain line. Same as we did for my plates. Next, mark lines scale width or 3 cm gap between each line as we did for knife plates. Okay, and also mark midpoint of both the lines means 1.5 centimeters for all the lines we have to mark midpoint of 3 centimeters gap means 1.5 centimeters gap. Each line distance is 1.5 centimeters. Same as we did for knife plates. Number eight. One, two, three. Again, one, two, three. So that we can easily fold the plates. First, fold along the number three third line and place it in on number one and finish. Clear? Again, take the number two and place it on number one, opposite direction to the first plate. Same again, the fold along the line number 3 and place it at, at 1, pin it. Next, take the second line, place it in 1, opposite direction. Now you can see the box shape formed over here. See, this is the box fit, one plate is back side. One plate is forward, backward and forward. Okay, same. One is backward, one is opposite direction, forward, front side. Similarly, we have to fold all the plates like this. Final sample size is 15 by 15 centimeters. Okay. Iron the sample so that plates become secure. Okay. 
mark 1 cm at top side for giving a permanent stitch ok 1 cm distance we have to give a permanent stitch Here, we did not leave any gap between these pleats. 